I'm Van Helker of Waterline Boats in Boat Shed Port Townsend, and today I have uh, the pleasure of being in the captain's chair of a 1968 Salmon Troller yacht conversion. This boat was built in British Columbia in 1968, and it was originally intended and served as a salmon troller. Uh, as such, the hull is thick, heavy, hand-laid fiberglass extremely stout. In approximately 2009, the current owner of the boat um, found this boat in Canada and imported it into the U.S. Uh, with the intention of converting it into a trawler yacht. After arriving in the U.S., the, uh, the decks were removed, the house was removed, essentially all systems were removed, and the boat was rebuilt from the hull up. So even though this is a 1968, in many respects it's a much newer vessel considering that it underwent an extensive refit beginning in 2009. The engine is a 2010 Daewoo DV58. Um, all the plumbing, electrical, I mean that's all new. Uh, side power bow thruster was added in 2014. The cruising speed on this boat is around 8 knots with its displacement hull and full length keel. Uh, the maximum speed is about 10 knots. But at 8 knots this boat just sips fuel. The fuel consumption per hour is reported to be around 1 to 1.25 gallons per hour at 8 knots. which provides for quite a range considering that this boat has a 320 gallon fuel tank. It would be possible to travel up to Alaska without worrying about fuel at all. On the exterior, I like the non-skid decks as well as the uh, exterior paint, which is easy to touch up and maintain should that be necessary. The, uh, the heavy duty, uh, commercial style drum windlass I think is great and really fits the character of this boat. And another unique feature about this boat uh, would be the railings. All around the boat there are uh, remarkably high and stout aluminum rails uh, which um, make, for, make for a safe uh, environment for kids, pets, I wanted to briefly touch on the electronics that are included with this boat. We have a echo sounder, radar, chart plotter, also autopilot, as well as a uh, stereo system wired for USB input. The top of the cabin is a large flat area that is useful for storing kayaks. Two kayaks can be stored here side by side, um, foam chocks come with the boat as do tie downs for securing kayaks. In addition, this is a large flat area that would make a great space for installation of solar panels uh, should that be desired in the future. I like the choice of heat for the boat. I think the diesel stove makes a lot of sense. It um, not only provides up to 16,000 BTUs of heat for the boat, but it also serves as a uh, oven and cooktop. And this boat has 320 gallons of diesel aboard, so that's a natural choice. And I like the diesel stove because it's relatively simple and, uh, and there's not much to maintain on it. There's also a lot of space below decks as well, uh, both in the tank room um, as well as the lazarette. So uh, a lot of storage. The boat also has a uh, chest freezer as well as a chest refrigerator, and so there, there's a lot of room for storing uh, perishable goods on, on this boat. But my key point is, is this. This is a really fantastic turnkey boat that um, you know, has, has the classic appearance of a 1960s commercial fishing boat but inside is, is upgraded and, and complete with systems that are less than 10 years old. So this boat is really perfect for an individual or a couple that are ready to get out on the water and 
cruise and explore Puget Sound and beyond. The uh, current owner fishes quite a bit in the straits and, uh, and it makes a, a great fishing platform. So in addition to adventuring, I, I think that this would be a great fishing platform, particularly a unique fishing platform because of the amount of comfort and amenities that it offers. It's not, it's not just a small fishing boat, it's, um, it's a commercial fishing vessel that's been converted to a trawler yacht. So this is just the perfect mix for somebody that's looking for a combination of um, combining outdoor recreation on the water with uh, comfort and livability.